everybody, and welcome back to our podcast series. My name is Noel Howard. Uh, I am one of the students at ARU, uh, being supported through CPFT. Um, we've been looking at our podcasts at various parts of us joining the course and, and interacting with it. And our second podcast today is looking at our induction week. And I'm really pleased that we have got a, a bigger group today for our podcast. Uh, we've got Laura, who's here. We've also got uh, Kate. We've got Alex, Harriet, and myself, if you'd all like to say hello, everyone. Hello. hello. So just to let everybody know, we're also from different trusts as well, which I think is great for the students to understand that we're all on the same course with ARU, um, but our actual employment um, is through different elements within the medical sector. But today, we're obviously talking about induction week, and I'd like to pose to whoever wants to kick me off as to, did they know what to expect for induction day? Kind of. So I've been to university before, so I had a rough idea of the sorts of things that might come up. So I came prepared with a notepad and notebook, and then ended up absolutely terrified because I set foot in there and somebody else who as it turns out was from a different trust had completely different information to me and I didn't understand anything that was going on. <laughs> it's an interesting fact there that you know I don't think people realise it because we're all on the same course we just presume we'd get the same blanket information um, but I, I did notice myself that from being with CPFT to those some of the people being from NWAF that I think everyone got a slightly different idea because some people had laptops and some people didn't and some people just came with themselves. Yeah, I mean, I showed up and the person that I was speaking to had been in their placement and their base ward since September and I hadn't even been allocated mine at that stage. Which, which is interesting and I think sometimes that communication um, is always a difficult one when, when you're dealing with so many different people in, in different elements uh, within the trusts. I mean, what did you think, Alex? So for me, it was um, obviously completely new as I've, I've never been to university before. So um, when I got there, I felt quite daunted because I had all, all these senior education people talking at me and I wasn't sure whether I was going to be able to take it all in. Did you, did you feel it was a bit of an information overload? Definitely, definitely felt like it was an information overload. Then I felt like really stressed because I thought we were going to get the uniform on that day and then we were told that I was going to get posted on through the post to uh, our houses and then I was like what if the size is wrong and then your mind just starts going wild and and, and, and it does keep on sort of spinning I, I, I sort of I, I the, the uniform was an interesting one I mean what, what were your thoughts about you know when your induction day and what was asked of you yeah, I was expecting to go in, they said they would measure a set and that the uniform people were yeah. coming in and then we rock up on the day and they say, no, they won't come because of COVID. And you think, how many things are because of COVID? And yeah, in the post, it was rubbish. We had loads, I think everybody had a problem with the uniform. And, and we all know from ordering any clothes online, mm. you know, the, the, the difficulties you have. Um, I mean, that was certainly one element. I mean, I suppose... I mean, I look back on it now and it's it, it's a blip in the landscape, really. But yeah. at the time, it's sort of like a major issue, um, which is what, probably what we all do. And it, it's great advice to others listening that what you think is maybe important at the time mm -hmm. in the grand scale mm -hmm. of things isn't so, you know, as you step further into the course. I think but in general, though, as the day went on, I sort of felt less and less daunted because I realised these educated people um, were, were kind of just trying to help. They weren't trying to make us feel anxious. They were genuinely there trying to help us understand that university is a safe, fun, exciting place to learn. Do, do you agree? Yes, definitely. Yeah, I had a manager. Luckily, my manager came in and was like, Harriet, keep calm, stop panicking. You're going to get through this. And that was very much the tone of the day I felt. But, but it's an interesting point you said that sort of about your manager. I, I must admit, some of my concerns were alleviated in the field. So 
that sort of induction day, I sort of had so many questions and I had so much information and trying to process it. Well, I actually started my placement on a virtual placement and I'm not very good online, um, but it was interesting that the first couple of days being into that placement, being able to talk to somebody in your trust about, is this right? Is that wrong? And I must admit, I think our first couple of sessions online, everyone was like, oh, am I doing this right? Am I doing that right? And yeah. which is great because you, when you're in a massive room on induction day with like a hundred of us and all those individuals are trotted in front of you going, oh, this is so-and-so and they're head of this and they're vice president of that. And um, it's difficult to want to ask all the questions on the day. I mean, did you guys feel it, it's more of the information's thrown at you, but you can't necessarily process it that quickly? I think you need more than a week, really, because I went on to placement and even the nurses were shocked that we'd only had a week introduction and then straight on placement. And, and you're not the only person to have that comment, because um, so many of us also came from n not necessarily a medical background as well. Yeah. So just core skills and, and, and some of those aspects, which obviously is a little bit more than you're ever going to give someone on induction. But would you say you felt prepared for induction day? Um, not hugely, I will admit. I felt prepared in the fact of I knew roughly what I was supposed to bring, but other than that, I just had no clue what was going on. I'd had frantic emails telling me that you had to hand in this bit of paperwork, and I think I was just so stressed from the whole application process, and then you had to take in the other things, and it was, for me, a slight bit of a mess. Uh, yes, I mean, I, I, can, I can agree with, with elements of the... I mean, we joked in the first podcast <laughs> over who wanted what bits of paperwork, and that was still slightly ongoing, even on induction day. I suppose what I, I liked, though, induction day felt like I'm on the course. Mm. It, it, to me, it felt like the first formal aspect of, oh, I'm at university. Definitely, yeah. and, and I remember I even wore a suit and tie. <laughs> I can't imagine you in a suit tie. I, to be fair, I, it's funny you say that because I love watching what everybody turns up in. Because mm. you're always worried, aren't you? Do you go casual? Do you go smart casual? Can you get away with just your trainers on? Yeah. Um, I know somebody brought in scrubs because they thought that we might be having to wear medical uniforms yes. all day. And I was like, the stage where I was like, what are scrubs? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Do you, do you think, I mean, we've all had similar experiences um, across the board. It, if you were going to run the induction day again for like the new students, I mean, what, what advice would, would you give them? I would put up a massive poster there that says, keep calm and don't panic, because I feel a lot of us were doing that and we just needed to see that in block letters. It's, it's a nice, simple thing to do. What, what, what about you, Alex? I think if, if I had to had a chance to run the induction day, I'd start the induction day off with like apple juice and orange juice first with a coffee so everyone can talk to each other and get to know each other a little bit, sort of uh, an icebreaker, if you like. Slightly more adult integration. Yeah. This mm. isn't like first day of school. No, exactly. Yeah. No, no, that's really interesting. Kate, do you have uh, any words of wisdom of how you'd like to alter maybe an induction day? I would have, I, I love what Alex said, um, but I think I would have a timetable because I feel like we were all sat there waiting, not knowing what was coming next. So if we had a little plan of the day, that's what I would make. And that structure, I think, is, is it hits the nail on the head. Mm. I, I agree. Because if you'd emailed that structure out to us all, maybe it might have alleviated a few things or maybe given some impetus to bring certain things. Mm. I think the panic would have gone as well. We were all sat there and throughout the day, I felt like they kept saying, oh, it's OK, you're all right, you're at university now, we're here to help you. And that happened a lot and it kept going back to that when people would go <gasps> in the hall. I think it's quite daunting, though, as a young adult, mm. isn't it, to sort of go into education and then all of a sudden, because you've been working for so long and you know that your uh, professional mannerisms need to show 
However, when you go to university, that they want to help mould it into a different shape, you know? Um, yeah, I, I think it's, it's such a different environment for so many people, for so many different reasons. I think the one common denominator was a lot of information at, at, at one point, followed by an inset of panic. Uh, across the majority yeah. of us. And a lot of that panic, none of us really understood till probably 10, 12 weeks into the course when we all started to talk more to each other, especially from different trusts. And we would all find out some of the similar, you know, similarities to, uh, to the issues that everyone was experiencing. I mean, I, I, as I said, we look back now and some of them are funny and we can joke about a large proportion of them. Um, which is great, but it, it's interesting. I mean, if I was going to give any words of wisdom, it's to somehow tell people maybe take everything's going to be a little slower. We're going to take our time. Um, we're going to try and alleviate some of that stress, and maybe maybe not throw so much at one at all, everyone, so that people maybe don't fill out those stresses. I mean, Laura. Um, did you feel that you had anything that you'd like to say in regards to how you'd like the induction day to be? Mm, so I've known a lot of people that's done the course, so I kind of went to my cousin and friends beforehand. You had some insider knowledge. Yeah, mm. but I think the only thing that scared me was the day if I couldn't actually find where induction was, I got lost. <laughs> do you know what, none of us had, do you know what, that, that, is, that is a brilliant point. Um, directions, where to park, where to cycle your bicycle, yeah. where to get off the train, um, which room you're in, are you in the right room? Um, I'm forever panicking about those things. I followed the crowd and was scared that I'd actually gone into a lecture Nothing with wrong. nurses. <laughs> <laughs> but I hadn't, I was in the right room. <laughs> no, that's good. I, I remember there were so many things I was panicking about that day that seemed trivial. I managed to spend the entire night, I was told I needed to bring in some GCSE certificates and I spent the entire night hunting the house for them and couldn't find them. So I was like, this is going to end my career before it started at that level. I, sp I suppose with the, the process of getting you employed, it worries people a lot because of this maybe some of the terminology in the mm. um the emails makes you panic and so you get to induction day probably a little panicked and flustered that are you in the right place with the right people um and have you actually got all the right paperwork for the previous process but in all essence here we all are having a joke and laughing about those things that we were stressing yeah so much about at the time um, which is really great because hopefully people listening to this will realise that. I mean, as a student, as a new student who has never been to university before, if I'm honest, I came in with a fact of you don't know what's going to happen, so just let it go. Just, just, just enjoy the day and enjoy that you're in a new education setting. And you're ready to learn. Well, on those pearls of wisdom, Alex, I think that's a fantastic uh, place to leave our podcast, uh, to sit back, take it all in and enjoy. And I hope you guys have enjoyed our